Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and uh, kind of make you guys a little tutorial video of Terraria. I did want to uh, wait a little bit before uploading the content from yesterday, but I thought the video that was uh, that was made by one of my subs, or sorry, my, my viewers was uh, fucking so good, so I just had to upload that shit immediately. So I do apologize for kind of like the spoiler. Now, before I start this video, uh, for those of you guys who are watching the YouTube series, who voted for this, I want you guys to know that instead of creating a, um, a Let's Play, because I think it's going to be a bit too difficult for me, instead I've decided on something else, and I want you guys to let me know what you feel in the comments. Um, if you don't like this, I'll see if I can change it up for the next series that we do. But for right now, I think we're going to go ahead and take all the VODs of my Twitch, upload them here for this playthrough, because I have not played any music. So the VODs are basically your Let's Play, and then we're going to keep doing highlights, which you guys saw in the previous video, as like, if you don't want to watch it, you can see what's keeping up to date. Does that make sense? I thought that was honestly the fair thing, because Terraria is kind of like an exploration. Um, like, there's just so much shit to do, and everyone's doing something different. So when you're playing with multiplayer, it's very difficult to keep you guys up to date with a Let's Play. Does that make sense? So I wanted to go ahead and explain to you guys kind of a, a little bit about Terraria. So... Uh, let me go ahead and start this. Um, for those of you guys who are wondering, the server password, I uh, cannot show you guys, I'm sorry. Um, actually, I lied. Uh, let me uh, turn this off for a second here. Now, this is a server that I created uh, for my buddies uh, Spore and Mech, and we're all playing together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit about Terraria and kind of how it works. So, this is our world of Terraria. Uh, we are on a medium-sized map. Uh, you can choose between small, medium, and large. And essentially the way the game works is you spawn and your map is completely undiscovered. You have nothing, all right? And you have a bunch of different biomes. Uh, biomes are basically, um, go to Google, you can figure out what a biome is. I, can't, I, I failed biology, so I can't really help you that much. And each biome obviously is gonna be a different type. So we've got, I guess like your regular forest shit here, but this has a living wood, so that's kind of something separate. We've got the desert biome here, this would be water. Um, you've got more desert. This would be the dungeon, which is separate. This is crimson. Um, this is going to be more desert. This is going to be crimson. Uh, this is an ice biome. Uh, this is like the regular one. Again, desert biome. I think this is more regular. I don't know what regular biome is called. Maybe I'm just retarded. This is going to be crimson. Uh, desert is over here. Jungle, which is separate. And this is always random. Every time you play in a world, it's random. Um, which is really cool. And you can take your character and port them over to different worlds so you can actually realistically play with your friends. Um, and then down at the bottom, this is Hell, which is a completely separate thing. Now, the way the game works is it's kind of like, I guess you could kind of say it's like Minecraft. I don't really think it's like Minecraft, but I'm going to kind of explain a couple things about it. You actually have different ways you can build your character. There's no fucking up. You don't all allocate anything. But you have uh, basically an armor set, which is your three main pieces. So I'm using a crimson set right now, and you tear up from your ores. So imagine, you know, predict Minecraft. You know, you start off with your basic resource, and then you work your way up. I think, I don't remember how Minecraft is. You have, like, wood, then iron, uh, and then I think you have, or no, I think it's wood, then steel. Or it's wood, cobblestone, steel. I don't remember what's in between. I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. So in this game, it kind of works like that as well. Um, you have your resources and you tear up and you tear up and you tear up. Now, the one really cool thing about this game, because I know, again, there's probably so much shit and none of this even makes any sense. So I'm going to start from the, the basic basics, all right? So I'm going to go over here to my chest um, and I'm going to pull out a platinum bar, all right? So this is this is a type of ore, for example. I'm going to go over here into my, into my house that was uh, made by Spore, as you can see. And the first NPC that you get is called a guide. So the guide is going to be located, where is Mr. Guide? He is actually chilling all the way down there for some unknown reason. So let's go ahead and walk on over to the guide. So the basic fundamentals of the game would be this. You talk to the guide, all right? You say, hey, I found this, this item. How, how do I, what do I do with it, right? So you take your resource platinum bar and you put it here. He will tell you everything that that material goes into, which is cool because this is how you start the basics of the game. Is you get up, you find something, like, I don't know what this does. You talk to the guy and he's like, hey, this is what you can make out of it. So here you can make a platinum pickaxe that tells you the materials, a platinum axe. So pickaxe would be for mining, axe would be for chopping down trees, hammer is for something a bit separate. Then you have a broadsword, a short sword, a bow, a staff, which is for casters, uh, helmet, Chainmail, Greaves, which usually would give a set bonus as well. 
uh, platinum watch, platinum crown, these are all different things. So that's kind of how the basics of understanding the game works. You, you find an ore, you find an item, you find a material, it doesn't matter what it is. It can even be an accessory. You put it on, he tells you what to do with it. So you got, you got the basics down. Now let's talk about more of the equipment. So again, you have your, your set, and these sets are made up out of your ores that you mine, which you smelt into bars and etc. and etc. Now, uh, moving on past the gear, obviously there's gear towards melee, there's gear towards range, there's gear towards support, there's gear towards magic. It's all, all different depending on how you want to play. Um, you also have accessories. Now, um, there's different modes you can play. There's normal, and then there's expert. Expert is, the game is kind of a bit different. It's much more pissed off. It's really angry. All bosses have new mechanics, but you get extra loot that's only in expert mode. That's what we're playing on here. So these accessories um, can be enchanted just like your weapons. You can see, for example, I'm using an Unreal Bee's Knees, which gives 15% damage, 9 speed, critical strike, velocity, knockback, whatever, right? doesn't matter. I know it doesn't make sense. But you have your accessories. Your accessories can be used to further customize your character in whichever way you'd like. You know, you can, you can enchant for your roles for what stats you want. You can choose what accessories you want. And a lot of the accessories will combine, like I like stated before. So, for example, if I walk over to Brett and I go to crafting and I take my armored specter boots, he's going to tell me they can go into lightning boots if I get an anklet of wind and an aglet. The only problem is, is that I died and lost both of these because of a bug, but anyway, that's beside the point. So he'll tell you. So another one is I could put my blue counterweight on, and he'll tell me it goes into this. And you can see, so there's a progression there with upgrading. Even some weapons can upgrade as well. So in Terraria, again, you choose exactly how you want to play the game. You choose how you want to progress, what you want to do, and the other various ways of doing it. Now, another core part of the game would be your house. So what we have here is basically uh, an over-the-top fancy house. You don't need to do anything like this. You just basically need to have room for an NPC to stay. Now, once you have uh, completed certain achievements, you can get more NPCs in your house, and these NPCs are used for crafting, shopping, buying basic resources, further you know, boosting yourself in the game, and etc. Now, to get them in, you have to have a house, and it requires, I think, a chair and a bench and a roof. It's a basic house. Um, now, after, um, I guess you could say you've done a large content of the game, um, and you want to figure out how to get to the next step, the next step would be bossing. Terraria is all about bossing. The game is heavily, heavily based around bossing. Um, let me see if I can actually show you a quick, easy boss. I don't know if I have anything on me right now. This might take me a little while to find, or I just might not be able to do it because I don't have it. Pretty sure I don't have anything on me because we did them earlier. But there are a bunch of bosses in Terraria, and bosses, of course, drop boss loot with boss materials, a rare chance at, you know, certain weapons and or accessories. And bosses are awesome because they're actually required to get into hard mode. Now, hard mode and expert are two completely different things, so I'm kind of going to explain a little bit about this part. You have uh, your first boss, which you would fight, which is, I believe, the Eye of Cthulhu, which can only spawn at night. Then you have another boss, which would either be in Crimson or Corruption, uh, which would be this type of looking thing right here. Um, you've got another boss called Skeletron, which is guarding the dungeon here, which you cannot really enter the dungeon until you kill Skeletron. It's kind of like your ways of progression. Um, and then, when you're ready to make the game a lot harder, you can come all the way down into Hell, drop a Voodoo Doll into Hell, confirm spoilers, and you can kill someone called the Wall of Flesh. We have failed three times trying to fight him, unfortunately, and I've lost almost all my gear, but that's okay. Once you kill Wall of Flesh, your whole game changes. New ore spawns all across the map so you can make better gear. All the mobs change, all the biomes change, new biomes come out. Um, and the entire game, like I said, changes and you have a new sense of progression. And it's really, really fun. Uh, because, like I said, you get a whole entire new sense of progression. The game doesn't actually end. So for a game that's, what, 4 or $5 on Steam if it's on sale, literally can keep you occupied for hundreds of hours. You can play the game once as a caster, you can play it once as, uh, you know, a bow-type character, you can play it as a summoner, you can play it as a melee guy. There's different weapon types. You have, like, bow, gun, uh, a staff, again, other type of summoner staff. Uh, a gun, a gun type of, um, sorry, a magic gun. You have like long sword, great swords, uh, yo-yo. There's so many different types of things, and each one has its own interaction uh, of stats and whatnot. Now, the combat I really personally like about the game. Um, I guess some people obviously are not going to like pixel-based pixel -based combat, but I think the combat is very smooth. So, like for example, um, on my character right now, he's kind of like shitty because I died so many times. Um, I've got like hover boots and I can sprint. 
So that makes it obviously a lot more fun, you know, to take combat to the air. Um, and then every character can get a grapple, obviously. So grapple, grappling is a lot of fun because it's a whole new mechanic as well. The game is actually really fast-paced when you're doing certain bosses. You also have certain modes you can play on, like... Um, uh, this is not difficulty locked, it's kind of separate. You have standard, which if you die, I think you just lose your coins. Uh, you have medium core, which is what we're playing on, where if you die, everything on your inventory, including your equipment, drops. All your mounts, everything. Everything drops to the floor, and it's gone. It's not gone, but you can get it. You can go and get it back. I don't believe. I don't think there's a despawn timer. But if you, um, if uh, your shit happens to fall in lava, then uh, all of your stuff goes poof, which is what happened to me, which was very, very unfortunate. Anyway, I hope this kind of helped you guys out a little bit with understanding a tiny bit about Terraria. There's honestly so much to cover about the game, so it's kind of difficult and it's uh, a little bit hard for me to understand where. And remember, I'm not trying to make. Uh, you know an actual like series guide out of guides for Terraria I just kind of want to make an introduction video and kind of explain a little bit So the people who don't know can kind of follow along with what's going on um, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video remember if you have any questions Please feel free to you know drop them below or go ahead and pop on the live stream Where you can see this actual footage being played and recorded or feel free to check out the VODs I'll be posting they're gonna be long they're anywhere from four to ten hours long uh, on the YouTube, I guess four to eight hours, uh, which will have full unedited for everything starting from the minute we started playing. And you can just follow along from there, you know, put it on a second monitor while you're having sex. She won't mind. It's okay. I've got great hair. Uh, but, you know, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, remember, if you guys have any questions at all, like I said, you know where to post them. Um, if you want to know what I'm using specifically from people watching the live stream, I'm using a full crimson set. Uh, warding Bandit Regeneration. These are kind of bad accessories, but it's what I've got. Armored Spectre Boots, Blue Counterweight, which doesn't do anything for me, just gives me the defense. Warding Hive Pact, and Warding Shield of Cthulhu. Um, and my weapon is the Unreal Bees Knees, which I think is very good for the actual amount of bees you can get out of it. But again, that's it from me. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please, you know, feel free to drop your content or your uh, uh, feedback below so I can learn from this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Remember, as well as the last thing, is we are streaming the series on twitch.tv slash fox, which is my channel, at 2 p.m. Central every day. Uh, that's what we've got now until, obviously, we're done, which may be like a week from now. So have a wonderful time, boys. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.